Plot Twist by Armalite. Outside of Ponyville, there was a dirty, a rundown motel where ponies could meet in solitude. The motel keys hung outside the motel room doors for any pony to use at any time. In room four, there was a filthy bed that used to be a dark crimson red. The curtains were a deep yellow, and the low shag carpet was stained with a white assortment of fluids. The lights were off, but no, but not du needed due to the light that swam through the curtains into the room, giving it a slightly dirty golden tint. Two mares stood in this light as they faced one another. One of them was a pegasus named Rainbow Dash. The other was an earth pony named Applejack. <laughs> okay, AJ. You sure you're ready? Rainbow asked lightly, resting a hoof on the orange earth pony's shoulder. Applejack sighed. I don't know, Rainbow. I mean, I still can't accept that. Rainbow cut her off sternly. Hey, hey, hey. Listen. I know it's a shock, but we can't change it. We can't change how we feel. And I think you've been feeling this way for a while now. Rainbow Dash said softly, looking deeply into the other mare's bright green eyes. Trust me, after this, you'll feel better about it, she said. I know, I just... It don't feel right, you know? Applejack said, turning away from what from the distraught Rainbow Dash and walking to the bathroom. I feel like sh things shouldn't be this way. I think should be like they used to be, she said as she went, with a hint of anger in her voice. Not anger at Rainbow Dash, but anger at herself, and anger at the world. Rainbow Dash sighed and followed the mare into the filthy bathroom. The tile floor of the bathroom was dirt-covered, and had scum where the cracks and the lines in the tiles lay. The mirror was shattered where the, some heartbroken Stalin had punched it, and at some point in the motel's history. AJ, you have to get over it, Rainbow Dash said with a slight shake of her head. I've been one for years now. You have to get used to it. Applejack stared into the broken mirror and at her own reflection before sighing and looking away. I know. I know. It's just, with you, it don't seem right. You're my friends for Celeste, you see? Applejack said as she turned back to her rainbow main friend. And that's all the more reason why it should be us. She said before resting a hoof on Applejack's shoulder once more. AJ, we've known each other for a long time. And we know each other's strengths and weaknesses, our boundaries and limits. That's why we're perfect together. I won't make you do something you don't want to, and I trust you to do the same. Rainbow Dash said earnestly. I know this is different. I know you're not used to this, Rainbow Dash said. But we'll be okay. She continued, her voice getting softer. Applejack looked down at her hooves. But what do my family think? She almost whispered. Applejack, look at me, Rainbow Dash said sternly, staying silent until the farmer's green, farm green, <laughs> mare's green eyes slowly and uncertainly slid upwards to meet the daredevil's bright pink ones. Applejack, I know your family. You should too. They'll support you, no matter what decision you make. They're your family. And even if they didn't, it wouldn't matter. This is about you and me. Applejack held the stare between those bright, honest eyes and her own, before letting out a relieved sigh and saying, Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Rainbow. Means a lot. Really does. She gazed up into Rainbow Dash's eyes with a soft smile playing on her lips. So, you ready to suit up? Rainbow Dash asked with a wink and a sly grin on her face. Applejack narrowed her eyes and grinned. Yeah, all right, Fly Mare. I'll show you what a Far Mare can do, she said challengingly. Rainbow Dash's grin grew wider. I'll see you to that and raise you. Come on, let's get the gear. Rainbow Dash said before turning and trotting back into the bedroom. Fifteen minutes later, they were ready. They both held their respective tools, and they were clad in all black. Applejack's earlier confidence was fading now that she was getting closer. Uh, Rainbow Dash, I think I'm starting to have second thoughts, she said, glancing around the dirty motel room. Rainbow Dash pulled her mask off and said, It's okay, Applejack. I'll walk you through it. I won't let anything get too out of hook. I'm the element of loyalty, right? 
she said, with one eyebrow raised. Applejack closed her eyes and took a deep breath before nodding. Okay. Okay. Let's do this, partner. Hermitus grinned, and her mask slid back on. Applejack gripped the baton with her teeth, grinding on the plastic handle in, in an attempt to rid her, rid <coughs> her nerves. Remember, AJ, I've done this kind of thing before. Just follow my lead, and it'll work out. Remedas said as she picked up the sharpened broom handle in her teeth. They both stood silently for a few more seconds. Remember, just stay close and make a lot of noise. Stay in the position we went over, and keep your suit on. Make sure your legs don't get too tired, and make sure you don't get too much stuff in your mouth or eyes. Applejack nodded. Applejack nodded to the Pegasus' words. Oh, and above all, aim for the head. Remedas said with a grim certainty as he walked to the door. Now, let's get some revenge. Remedas screamed as she readied the broomstick. Applejack moved the baton in her hooves and slid the welder's mask back on her face and then stretched her hind legs before growling deeply into the mask. Then, they opened the door, and with their metal makeshift armor clanking, their spirits being released in the form of their war cries this, and the sound of hundreds of moans from the living dead, they stormed out into the horde of zombie ponies, weapons swimming, swimming, swinging. When it was all over, they sat there amongst the dead and rotting, panting and relishing the joyous rev revenge. Then they went back to the motel and had a good night of sleep. The End <laughs>